Welcome back. Today, I'm going to turn all of these components into a functioning uh, numpad running KMK firmware on the Raspberry Pi Pico. Let's take a quick look at the parts. First up, the brains of the operation is a Raspberry Pi Pico, the microcontroller from Raspberry Pi that runs on MicroPython or CircuitPython. For the switches, I am using Akko Ocean Blues. Um, they're the only ones I have enough of on hand, but be warned, these are louder than some of the other switches I've used, which shouldn't be a problem for a numpad, but if you were building a whole keyboard, it might be something to consider. Twenty diodes. And a case. I designed and printed this out of PLA, the case has places for six screws, but I'll only be using four. Some wire. Before I build, the case came out a little rougher on the edges than I had hoped. So I am going to wet sand using 260 and 320 grit sandpaper just to knock down some of the layer lines and zitting. I think it came out really well. With that prep work out of the way, now we can build the whole thing. I did build a 60% keyboard a while back, uh, and here's what I learned from that experience as well as building this numpad. Put all the switches in in the same orientation. This makes it easier when putting in the, the diodes and soldering everything together. Bend the diodes before soldering them in. It makes them easier to solder and work with. Bend uh, one of the leads over to about 45 degrees from the rest of the diode and the other leg at 90 degrees. Uh, then you can just set the diode in place and solder the one lead, the 45 degree bent lead, and then use the other 90 degree lead to solder to the rest of the row of switches. Also, check every diode to make sure they're in the right orientation. It doesn't matter which orientation you put them in, as long as they're all the same. For the columns, I use a piece of solid core wire and split the insulation every 14-ish millimeters um, so that you can slide the insulation around and create little gaps to connect the columns and not have to worry about shorts. Once you have the wires connected to the rows and columns, you just need to connect them to the Pico. And the pin numbers you connect to on the Pico are not super important. Just make sure to write them down and make sure you don't connect one of your uh, rows or columns to a ground pin on the Pico. Once you have the wires connected to the Pico, then you just need to load up the KMK firmware with the correct code.py for the layout you want, and you should be all set. I will come back in a follow-up video and show you how I installed KMK on the Raspberry Pi Pico. Thanks for watching.